come to and live in the same world. But throughout human history, individuals have always sought to escape from reality. Be this through the medium of cave drawings, mythology, fictional books and literature, even something as recent as virtual reality. This within itself is called escapism, and it's the tendency to seek to distract oneself from the unpleasantries of day-to-day -day life. I myself am guilty of doing it. Uh, through the medium of online gaming and acting, I discovered that I discovered the ability to be anyone at any time, anywhere, and this was really liberating for me. Uh, it's something that I relied on heavily to support me, but it helped me grow and overcome a lot as a person. I relied on it so much so that at points I was unaware what parts of my personality were my own and which I had adopted, but nonetheless, I did grow as a result. Uh, I understand my own reasons for wanting to escape, but what really interests me is uh, gaining some insight into how other people achieve it, and more importantly, why, for what personal reasons, and what's drove, driven them to it. Luckily, I found a very group of individuals who are willing to help me with just that. My name's Anakin. Nice to meet you, Anakin. So, uh, Oh, if you could begin by just telling me a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, um, I'm a student at the University of Essex. I'm 22 years old. Um, originally from LA, but I came from France to come do my studies in the UK. My name's Eve. Could you tell me a little bit about yourself, Eve? Um, so, um, I come from Slough, and I play the guitar. I study economics at Essex Uni, and... Um, I fail a lot, well a lot, like not really, but... But you, you fail? Yes. yes. How would you define escapism in your own terms and what does it mean to you? Yes, escapism to me, well not personally, but just as a definition would be to try and get away from something that, um, or is m maybe too hard to cope with or that you can't really express. Um, so I think escapism to to most people is to escape from the reality um, which would not possibly not be a pleasant reality for me I think escapism is escaping to be like myself I'd say I, I DJ often when um, I just need a, like a little escape just to be in kind of my own world and like listen to my own music and kind of like isolate myself in my world to kind of get away from others so I guess that is a form of escapism yeah. but my main form of escapism would be songwriting so I'm like yeah I songwrite for rap for hip-hop and for poetry and so that's one of the best ways for me to express things that I have a really difficult time expressing or vocally or even mentally so is there specific circumstances in which you'd use each escapism, or is it just whichever? There, there are specific circumstances, mostly when I'm DJing, it would mostly just be when I need like breath of fresh air away from just more common day problems, and I think when I songwrite it's more when it's deep emotional problems that I don't quite even understand myself that help me drop them down on paper and actually understand them a little better. At what point did you discover that these mediums led to escapism for you? I think it was about when I was 16 years old and I found myself crying in my bedroom and I could not actually talk because I don't know what was going what was going on but I just I literally could not express myself vocally and I tried to find another means of doing so and I started writing out what I was thinking and then at the beginning there were just paragraphs of thoughts and then they started like coming together and making lyrics and then forming into songs and then I got into poetry writing so yeah that's when I, when I started what were the events that led up to that just I was having a really tough time and honestly even today I wouldn't technically be able to pinpoint what pushed me to that extent of not being able to even express myself vocally but just yeah, I was having a hard time in school. Uh, my mom was sick at the time. 
and it was just very difficult and I was having a hard time with my friends as well, betrayed multiple times and so I didn't really feel that I had anybody to talk to anymore apart from myself. Uh, so using your escapism, did you manage to fill that void or you, you mentioned that uh, songwriting helped you express yourself, mm. do you feel it's helped you express yourself better in general or do you still need songwriting at this point? I feel like songwriting today is more of a, a, a crutch that I use when I have, when I, I get, when I feel myself starting to get to that same state that originally began everything because I don't want to reach that state again and um, so it does help me but I mean not constantly like it's not the only thing sometimes it will help me sometimes it will make me feel worse escaping from yourself in what way so uh, escaping to yourself i mean sorry for me i would escape from reality to like play guitar and be more myself i think in what way are you more like yourself on playing? when i play guitar like it's a really nice way to be convey like how i'm feeling like and convey emotions and just like you know the emotional impact of like a song is just a nice way to like channel that emotion and like actually express it how do you feel when you're playing guitar and how does it help you uh, express yourself in ways that you cannot normally when i play guitar like i can actually feel like i'm um the emotion ex conveyed in the song, I feel like I am that. I feel like I am kind of like at one with what I am performing, and it it's nice to have like the inside of you completely, perhaps match the outside of you. Like the world is seeing you like as you are, and that's that's nice. Right. Why do you think you need the guitar to? express that I, did, I haven't really like created a dependency on my guitar until perhaps recently i've looked at it as a really good way to just express your feelings so so yeah at what point so you say obviously recently you became dependent on it but at what point did you initially just discover that the guitar helped you express yourself like I feel like everyone goes through tough times in their life and then they kind of look around and see like things that they can hold on to which is nice for them, which is good feeling for them. So like for me that was one of them just to like have that something that I've always kind of had and like have that stability. Was that recent or at a younger age? Very recent. <laughs> Fair. Would you mind me asking what particular events kind of started it all off. I'm sure you use it to deal with all sorts of things, but what was the first time and why? Just like a combination of so many things, like obviously I think one of the strongest things was like self love. I think everyone everyone like, struggles with self love probably. Yeah. On like a small scale and a large scale. And so yeah, everyone goes through difficult times like with that kind of thing. Do you feel now that you are, has it helped you love yourself more? Are you better and more confident in your self-love? Yes, I, I like myself when I play the guitar, like I do, like yes, this is me. I don't like playing the guitar, it just does feel like, it's like, yeah. It's clear there are so many different reasons out there for why we seek to escape from our day-to-day -day lives. And although it varies from individual to individual, what is evident, however, is that no matter the reason, we're all painfully aware of how finite and limiting everyday life could be. So why wouldn't we escape into our boundless and limitless imaginations? 